and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to extract data from PDFs to Airtable using OpenAI. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to extract specific fields like invoice number and due date from invoices using OpenAI. And you can use the same approach to extract structured data from any PDF attachments. So in order to begin, you're going to want to have your Airtable set up. So you want to have a table called invoices and change your name field to invoice number, just like so. Then for the next field, we want to have this titled as PDF and for the type, we want to choose attachment from that drop down menu. As you can see here, I have already inputted my PDFs. Then we're going to go ahead and create a new grid view. So over to the left hand side, you'll see this grid option, select the plus symbol and retitle this as needs data. Just like so, select create new view. And now it's time to add conditions. So up here where it says filter, we're going to select add condition. And we want for this to read where invoice number and from that drop down menu is empty and then add a second condition and PDF is not empty just from that drop down. So this view will help us extract data from the PDFs that don't have any information in the table. So now that the table is set up, we're going to head over to our OpenAI Assistant to extract the PDF data for us. So you need to head over to your OpenAI Assistant's page, just like so. You can also find this page by heading over to our Data Fetcher website where we have an exact blog on this topic and you can scroll down until you see that link, OpenAI Assistance. That will bring you directly to the following browser and this is where I have already set up my assistant. So I've given it the name PDF Parser and under instructions, all I've had to put is you are a helpful assistant. Then under model, select ChatGPT 4.0 and for the tools, turn on file search. So the file search tool enables the AI to search for data in PDFs and extract it. Then OpenAI automatically saves these changes so you don't need to click anything else that has now been created and we can head back to our Airtable base. Here in our Airtable base, it's time to add our data fetcher extension. So up here in the top right hand corner, we have this extensions option, select that, then select add an extension. And up in the top right hand corner here, we have a search bar, which we're going to search for data fetcher, just like so. That will pop up. You can select add here and select add extension. The following screen will load and this is where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Now you'll arrive to the following page where you can import your data. Select create your first request. Then under application, we're going to search in the search bar for OpenAI, just like so it will pop up. You can select that. And then under authorization, you are going to need your OpenAI API key. So you can simply click here and that will bring you directly to your API keys on your OpenAI account. So once you have that copied over, you can paste this now into this input box. Then we're going to change the name of this request to fetch invoice data like so. Then for the end point, I'm going to select create assistant thread and run just like so. Then we can select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Now it's time to tell the AI how to interact with the PDFs in the table. So under assistant, select the assistant you created earlier in open AI, which is that PDF parser, just like so. Then under messages, we have this on the data fetcher website on that blog that I mentioned before. So you can simply copy this text over and we're going to paste it into that messages box. Really nice and simple. Now it's time to reference the PDF files in the table. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this plus symbol still in that messages box, select this. Then when this pops up under table, that will be set as invoices. Then for the field, we're going to select PDF, just like so. And then for run for every record in view, we are going to have that set as the needs data grid view. Then select confirm. And you'll see that information now pop up in this input box. We're now going to select shift and enter to go down to the next line of the input box. And we're going to copy the following code back from that tutorial on our website. So just here we have this output format, just copy over all of the this and paste it back into your air table just like so into this input box here for data fetcher. Then we're going to press enter to save that as a whole message. As you can see, this appears in its own little box now. So before we move on to the next step, I just want to explain exactly what we're doing here with this message. So we're asking OpenAI to extract data from an invoice, which we have attached by referencing the PDF field in the table. We then ask it to return the results in JSON data formatting so that data fetcher can process it. Finally, we give it the output format, which is just in this 
next line, where we specify the data we want from the PDF file, as you can see here. So OpenAI is smart enough to extract the data from different invoice formats. So if you want other invoice data, such as tax or quantity, you can add them to that output format like so. Now we're going to select the model from the drop-down menu, and we're going to select GPT-40. Then we'll select Save and Run in the bottom right-hand corner. The following screen will appear, and this is where we can decide which fields we would like to have brought into our Airtable base. So you'll notice in these first three field names, it has that JSON here. And Data Fetcher automatically added this prefix to the field names because we instructed OpenAI to return a JSON response when we created the message earlier. So Data Fetcher returns four fields from the request, but we only need the three we specified in the output format. So you can deselect this message option. We don't need that field. And then we're going to use the following mapping for the remaining fields. So for JSON invoice number, we want to map this to an existing field. And from that drop down menu, we're going to select the invoice number. Then for the JSON total amount, we're going to map this to a new field that will be titled total amount like so. And you're going to want to change this field type to currency. So you can simply select that and find currency there. Then for the JSON invoice due date, we're going to map this again to a new field and have this titled just as due date like so. And then we'll select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, these fields are now being created and select show output table. Then you can close this little window over and we're going to head back to our main grid view. And this is where that information has now been automatically inputted. So this is amazing, but currently whenever you add new PDFs to your table, you would have to manually run the request. In order to save time, you can use data fetchers trigger feature to run the request automatically. So in order to do this, we're going to open up the extension option again here, and this will automatically bring us back to that data fetcher request that we have already created. So you can open this up and then we're going to scroll down past all of the settings that we've already inputted until we see this schedule option here. Now you will only see this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. So if you haven't yet done that, I really recommend that you do so that you can keep all of your records updated automatically for any of your data fetcher requests. So once you've upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, you can come back and you'll now see this trigger option. Select that. And now we want to select the authorized button in order to give data fetcher access to your Airtable base. Select I understand, let's authorize. And then you'll want to select add a base and choose all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces so that you only need to do this once. Select grant access. Now that you've authorized data fetcher, you can create a trigger to run the request when you add a new PDF to the table. So we want to select run this request when record created. And then from the table, we're going to select invoices. Then for the view, we're going to select needs data, then select the save button over to the right hand side. You can close this window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to extract data from PDFs to Airtable using OpenAI and the Data Fetcher extension. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where, like I mentioned before, we do also have this full length blog on this exact topic for you to learn that way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.